happened here today. We had Americans from around the country, from Alaska, from Rhode Island, from Michigan, descend here in ground zero of the first site and the last site of children detention. But the only way that we do this is that there has to be a plan, that our country will never allow this to happen again. We have to make sure that I, we don't stop until this country does right by immigration policy and stops forever this racist, xenophobic attitudes about immigration, which has made this country the strongest country, the best country in the world. We saw leadership coming together from around the country. We saw Latinos, Americans come together and say that we are bigger than this. This idea of atrocity against children transcends party. What's happening in the United States today, separating children from their parents at the border is immoral. It's wrong and it has to change right now. At this point, this issue really is no longer an issue of conservatives or liberals or Republicans or Democrats or even of immigration. This is an issue about what is right and what is wrong. And people throughout the country, people of every different background, as you can see here, have come together to say that this is not who we should be in the United States of America or anywhere. Right behind us is literally the detention center that last, just last week was housing 98 children. As of this morning, they had 260 children now housed and they're expecting to grow expansion for over 4,000. We have to reject this zero tolerance policy because it makes zero sense. It is cruel, it is inhumane, and it is immoral. And we must insist that these children who are intense in 100 degree temperatures be taken and reunited with their families now. In unity, there is strength, and in strength, there is power. The only thing that makes a difference is when we, all of us here in the United States of America, that we stand up for justice and we take the actions that are necessary, that we can then make our country what it should be, one of peace, one of justice, one of democracy. And it is up to us, and I know that all of us here today, we have such great power right here in front of us and then we can make it happen. This is not okay. The only way we make this change is go to stopseparation.org, learn how to support organizations here in El Paso locally, learn how we can get involved for the next week of action, and if you think your vote does not matter, 93 million Americans sat it out last time. There's an abuse of power right now going on and we have to have every single American present so that we stop abusing children.